Barbara Stefani, I think I am the author of Another Part of Me, An Extraordinary Tale of Twin Souls. And uh, this is one of my dogs, Sasha, and another one, Sabrina, behind me. <laughs> and I am in here uh, in my bedroom today talking about Ascended Masters in Twin Flame Soulmates. And this is probably one of the most, um, one of the most humbling experiences that um, I will have as far as video goes. I'm in my bedroom because this journey is very personal, um, not only to me, but for each one of you. If you decide to embark in learning with the Ascended Masters and um, into union with your Twin Flame soulmate, it's very personal, It's um, and it's a lot of work. Now, the two areas that we wanted to cover today were Ascended Masters and Twin Flame Soulmates. So this will probably be vastly different than any material that you uh, will read out there or maybe have been taught about. Um, I have uh, come to the belief that, in, in, in my guides tell me, you need to be sponsored by a Ascended Master in order for you to make your ascension, um, come into your I Am Presence, complete your karma, and fulfill your mission with your Twin Flame Soulmate. Twin Flame Soulmates are not just a romantic notion. The soul is connected um, in parts. Your consciousness and your soul connect. So to come into union with the two Twin Flame Soulmates, um, each part of that soul, each half, your masculine and your feminine half, they have to be complete themselves in order for you to actually come together. Now, completion means not only clearing out some of the four lower bodies, but if you think about what might be maintained in those four lower bodies, mostly it's um, not only patterns, but karma from past lifetimes. And so, while many... Um, sites maybe on the internet, maybe books will talk about Ascended Masters. Myself, I have this Ascended Master deck from Adoring Virtue that I have with me, but I, I purchased this because I wanted to keep the Ascended Masters with me. And so when I meditate, often I would take um, the Masters that I felt close to that have been helping me through my path and put them up on an altar so I could meditate with them. A lot of things like this, a lot of tools that they have, will name who the Ascended Master is, what you can call on them for. Um, I don't recommend that um, philosophy. I am not one to say that you need to know who they are, what they're there for, um, or follow any rigid program of education as far as spiritual studies go. Um, on the path to a twin flame soulmate, what you're asking or what you embark on is a very serious path of initiation if you decide to go that route. And I say if you decide because you have to make a conscious decision to deliberately um, intend to take this study under very seriously. And by that I mean um, if you want an Ascended Master to sponsor you, they will have to know that your intent and your um, purpose in doing so is for soul growth. And it, there's no lie here. They're, they're going to know if you're messing around. They want to make sure that you're um, serious about what you're embarking on. And it is a serious journey. It's serious work. It's not easy by any, any means. Um, usually when an Ascended Master takes you on as a pupil, they will give you initiations, and you will have to pass those initiations before they can take you on to the next level. So let's talk about that a little bit. Say you decide that you want to embark on this path, and you're serious about your studies, and you want to get your karma complete, and you want to study with an Ascended Master. You ask for sponsorship through the universe, and wait for that Ascended Master to come to you. Now, why would you ask for sponsorship just from one Ascended Master is because that Master will be tied to you through your life stream. Not only will he be tied to you if he accepts you as a pupil, 
that he will bring you the other ascended masters necessary for your growth and for the completion of your karma, which is completely unorthodox um, for most of the information out there with calling on them for specific things. It's kind of like calling on angels for specific things. If you want to do that, then that's the conscious will of whatever's in your head. But if we're talking about spiritual studies, you're going to want somebody on the other side that knows your soul and what you need to do to complete the karma, not just what you yourself know in your head. And so that's why I highly recommend someone, an Ascended Master, sponsoring you. Um, I also brought this book out. This um, was an interesting book for me. It was an interesting read. It's called The Lords of Karma, or The Lords of Seven Rays by Elizabeth Clara Prophet. <clears throat> and um, in the beginning here, um, in the very few, first few pages, she does say that this is the work of the soul. And she talks about ascension and how some of the ascended masters are linked to each one of our seven chakras. The Ascended Masters, they move around like presidents do here in the United States. There might be one in, in an office one year, but it might change the next year. So, again, I don't, I don't think there's any hard and fast rule that needs to be followed except for um, what you're guided to be followed through your personal I am, through your God presence, and through your personal Ascended Master. But what I liked that she wrote here is she said that it's work of the soul. And it's indeed our work. This is your work that you need to do. It's kind of like going to a therapist. It's like they're not going to fix you, but they'll give you the tools that you need to to fix you. And so um, as we're his handiwork, it's the preparation that's necessary prior to receiving the very special spiritual and physical assignment with one's twin flame. Now, if you're looking for a twin flame soulmate purely for romantic notions, this isn't the path for you. Um, the twin flame soulmate relationship um, draws down a special mission from the Ascended Masters. Part of the agreement that you go into, um, unknowingly or knowingly, I think, in some ways, is when you decide that you want to go on a path of initiation with an Ascended Master because you want to draw closer to your I Am, to your God Self, and they're helping you release the karma. As you raise your vibration, it's kind of like a natural feeling that you're going to want to also help your brothers and sisters around you. So once you get there, once you get to a place where you can fulfill some of that karma and you can get to a place of light, the Ascended Masters will put you into service with your Twin Flame and you will together um, help give a mission um, in world service, in service to other people. It's not necessarily a romantic notion. Now they do have retreats, um, etheric retreats, um, which are places on the earth that they go to that they teach in groups. Um, I still share consciousness with Michael and at times I receive visions. Um, while he was here on earth I would receive visions of him doing things I still get that um, when he's on the other side, and he has been to several of the retreats um, for some of the masters, still learning on the other side. So this is soul work, and it's soul growth. And um, the masters, the ascended masters, will know your intent without you even saying. So there's no um, trying to bluff your way through it. You're, you're not going to be able to bluff an ascended master. They're going to know and they will test you and initiate you on the path. That said, the golden, the golden uh, prize at the end is not only your twin flame, but you will be a God-free being, meaning that you will be free from the binds of this world. And that's one of the things that they help you with. They are trying to help you clear all of your beliefs and patterns and your karma of the past. And as you do that, and even though it's hard work to do that, to look and to be introspective, and sometimes they'll throw things at you, and, and I don't mean the Ascended Masters will throw, but situations will be brought to you so you can help yourself work through them and help gain your mastery over them. Although that's not easy, what happens eventually is that you realize um, your divinity within, and that part helps you traverse even being in this world, um, but not being of it. You still live here, but you're not really living by the world rules anymore. You're now knowing that there's a divine uh, consciousness and there's a divine unity and a divine law in all things. 
And so you live by that law. And in that respect, life becomes much easier and much more loving, and um, it's well worth the path. Now, initiations can come in the form of people coming into your lives, situations coming into your lives. Sometimes um, the worst, worst, worst situations in your lives, you'll be like, I, I embarked on this path and I can't believe I'm going through this. It's getting harder. It can. But when you get to the other side, you'll realize why it might have been harder and why those things might have come up in your life. It might have been to clear some really negative people out of your life. It might have been to really drive home a lesson that you weren't getting um, to make sure that you got it and you will go through those you know if you've ever noticed like in your lifetime why do I keep running into the same kind of people or why do I keep you know exhibiting the same behaviors it's those things you have to pay attention to in yourself so you don't repeat those things again so I'm going to bring up some of the ascended masters that I have worked through the years and um Basically, your intention in prayer or in meditation, you can ask for an Ascended Master, um, express your, your desire to have an Ascended Master tutor you or to sponsor you. If you have sight and you can see in meditation, of course, you'll see them come to you um, or hear them. You may not know that they're around um, sometimes. I know I didn't exactly at first. Um, but after a while, and you go through a few initiations, I think most often they let themselves, let their presence be known, <laughs> as you can see. So, um, there are different methods that you can use as well in meditation to meet them, um, that we can talk about later. But some of the, um, people on the other side that I've, um, come to know, as far as the Scented Masters go, they're not all men. There are some women, um, as of course, well, the Archangel Michael, and uh, El More. Um, my main sponsor is um, St. Germain. He sponsored me and Michael as uh, Twin Flame Soulmates, and he started tutoring me in, gosh, 1998, 1999, I would guess. Um, I saw him before that, many years before that, but I didn't um, start receiving conscious instruction until about that time. He brought other uh, masters in, Amora was one, and um, there's different blurbs on these masters through the cards and through books, but uh, uh, you will find that these beings will keep you in line. Um, this particular one yelled at me a couple times because I... You, you know, you go through different things and, and you can make some headway, but you can also slide back. So they'll remind you sometimes uh, if you're sliding back and what you need to do to correct that. Um, Yogananda is another one um, uh, that I see quite often um, that helps me with my yoga practice and to be mindful. Um, sometimes they give you just peaceful energy. Kusumi is a... Uh, <laughs> He's amazing. Uh, he's helped both Michael and I. After Michael's death in 2009, my sponsor, St. Germain, assigned me to Kathumi. And I didn't really know why. I didn't know what Kathumi did. I just was like, okay, whatever, you're going to assign me to Kathumi. But he is really good in psychology. And, you know, for us breaking down our patterns and beliefs, it's really important to have somebody like him who can assess what you need to do to break down what's going on inside of you. So he was really remarkable in doing that with me after Michael's death because I really didn't um, uh, didn't know how to pick up the pieces, not only for Michael's death, but because there were so many things that had transpired in my life. My life kind of came into a death as well. At the same time, Michael experienced his physical death, so we had to rebuild from that, and Kathumi was instrumental with that. But again, that was from my sponsored Ascended Master. He was the one that brought me these people. Kuan Yin was another one. Um, she was very helped, helpful with energy bodies and um, sealing off chakras. When you get to the other, um, the levels of consciousness on the other side, you'll find there's good and bad beings. And uh, she was very helpful with that. Again, brought to me by Saint Germain. Well, so we have Serapis Bay, the 
course, Jesus, who I experienced as a child, and uh, I don't know how old I was, maybe eight, I suppose, when I heard him behind me, um, when some kids were making fun of another girl. And of course, Mother Mary, who I experienced when I was the age 12, she had some divine intercession for me in healing the girl next door who had cancer, who was two. Um, which was a miracle for her healing, and then of course St. Germain, who's my main guy and the leader and lord of the seventh ray. Now the seventh ray is the seventh ray of um, light that's directed towards our planet for freedom. All of the ascended masters work on um, ascending your consciousness. They, they work on helping you uh, get your karma out of the way and your consciousness up in vibration. All of them do that. Saint Germain has kind of taken this position um, of the reins of leading this whole movement um, on the earth and its evolutions. And on the other side with the ascended masters and those hierarchies above them, the angels, and um, we'll talk about some of the brotherhoods as well, they uh, take different positions and um, do and take on different responsibilities to help that. It's kind of like a hierarchy of a government. Even here, um, they have different roles and different responsibilities and will take on different functions to help organize um, the levels of consciousness and also the pupils um, under their, um, their guidance and um, organize the pupils with other pupils so they, they can um, start learning and joining together. So those are the Ascended Masters.